Hi guys, it's Bridget. Today's video is going to be a standalone, spoiler-free review of Ray Bearer by Jordan Ifueco. This is a wonderfully unique debut young adult fantasy novel that takes place in sort of an African-inspired fantasy world. I gave this book four stars and I really enjoyed reading it and I loved almost every aspect of this book except for one major complaint which I will get into later in this video. The story follows our protagonist, Tari Sai, who's a young girl raised in this really isolated compound mostly brought up by her tutors or other servants with occasional visits by her mother who is known as the lady. One day the lady sends Tarisai away from the compound to try to compete with other children to become a member of the Prince's Council of Eleven which is composed of one member of each nation within the kingdom. Members of the council are sworn to protect the prince and they form a really deep bond with him and the other council members by connecting with the magic of the prince's ray. However, before leaving to try to become a part of this council, Tarasai's mother curses her with a command to kill the prince, and Tarasai is magically compelled to have to obey this command. Tarasai spends the rest of the book trying to resist her mother's command and fight the urge to kill the prince who, despite everything, she has grown very attached to and has developed a really deep friendship with. So now that you have a brief summary of kind of what this book is about, I want to go into the good things that I liked about it. The first thing that I just loved was the plot. Tarise's origins were so interesting and I just love the fact that she has this curse placed upon her to kill someone only once she's gained their trust and comes to love them, which was really very tragic and I just was so interested to see how this was going to play out and how she was going to overcome this or fall victim to it. I thought it was great to kind of see how Tarise was forced to fight this demon within herself and take ownership of her own life. And the fact that it was her own mother who put her in this situation really helped explore themes of family and loyalty and what that means. Another huge highlight of this book was the world building. This was one of the most interesting fantasy worlds I have read recently. I loved every minute of it. Jordan Ifueco did a fantastic job of creating this vibrant, interesting, atmosphere to place these characters in. Honestly, the fact that this was not a European inspired fantasy was such a breath of fresh air and reading about this vibrant African inspired world was just such a pleasure. The author did such a fantastic job of bringing in so many different aspects of this world and this culture and these people. You just got so many wonderful descriptions of landscape, hairstyles, clothing, the food that they're eating, their traditions and music and I just loved all of it. It was so much fun. And really that's what kept me reading. The last thing that I loved about this book was the magic system. I love stories where people can have different abilities and different powers and that was highlighted in this book really well. Some people have these special abilities that they called hallows. Tari Sai, for example, has the ability to touch objects or people and kind of pull and see their memories. So for example, she would be able to touch a person and see one of their memories. Or if she touched, for example, a book on my shelf, she would see that like I was the last person to pick it up, something like that. Other people have the ability to heal or see characteristics of people or things. And it's just really interesting. I love seeing how people with different abilities or powers kind of work together within this world. Another major aspect of the magic within this world is the whole concept of a ray bearer. The emperors and the princes have the power of the ray, which allows them to magically connect with chosen members of their council and it forms a really deep sort of unbreakable bond with them. When the ray bearer connects with all 11 members of their council, they become sort of immortal and immune to different methods of death. This was such an interesting ruling system. It was so enjoyable to read. I had never really read anything like that and I loved seeing how this bond of the council was going to play out throughout the book. Now, unfortunately, I have to kind of dive into the bad. And for me, that was the characters. My biggest complaint about this book was the lack of character development. On one side, you have this wonderful world and this rich culture that the author clearly spent a lot of time developing and it works really well. It was so much fun to read about. But on the other side, you have these characters that feel very surface level and kind of superficial. So many of the characters' motivations and relationships felt underdeveloped and unfortunately I think that it's because 
of the power of the ray that binds this council together. There was pretty much no conflict within the council and everyone just got along and they loved each other and they felt this fierce loyalty to each other once they got the ray. And to me, it really kind of hurt my enjoyment of the book. I really want conflict between our main cast of characters. I mean, I feel like that's how you see where everyone stands and see what people's motivations are and test relationships and see how they grow. Without that, it felt very superficial. And part of me just wondered, would these people feel this deep connection to each other, would they be so loyal if they hadn't received the Ray? And unfortunately, because of this, there were no characters that I was really drawn to or really just excited to keep reading about. I kept putting down the book and having to remind myself to pick it back up again. Actually, the most interesting character in the whole book was Tarisai's mother, the lady. I would 100% read a whole prequel about her story. After I finished the book, I read through a couple other reviews and honestly, I was surprised that not many people felt the same way as me. Most people were just raving about the book, so it could just be me and the kind of characters that I like. So don't let that stop you from picking this up because pretty much every other aspect of this book was fantastic. It was just for me really weak characters. Again, I ended up giving Ray Bearer four stars. This was a really wonderful debut for this author. I thought it was a lot of fun to read. Despite a couple of issues with the characters and character development, I really enjoyed it and I will definitely be reading the second one whenever that comes out. I know that a sequel has been confirmed, so I'm excited to see where the author takes this world and this storyline. I think if you're someone who really enjoys unique and diverse perspectives and really interesting world building, this will be a great book for you to pick up. The plot is a lot of fun. It's really unlike anything I've ever read. And if you can get past sort of weak characters, I think you will have a really fun time reading it. If you enjoyed this review, please do remember to like and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see all of you in the next video.